All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about should you upgrade from the standard Snap-on Diagnostic Thermal Imager to the Diagnostic Thermal Imager Elite. All right, so if you're not familiar with these, thermal imagers become a hot thing in the automotive repair industry. If you don't know about them, it's basically a thermal camera. Real fancy, you can see my face is really hot. Really cool, really useful tools. Now the Elite obviously adds a lot of new features. I like, for instance, the split screen, so you can actually see what the heck you're looking at. Very cool feature, but if you've already got the standard snap-on, should you upgrade? I may or may not have done a review on this. Um, I keep forgetting to, to get a uh, card for it because all my mini cards are in use. But anyway, <laughs> really useful diagnostic tool. I use this a lot for uh, draws. You know you have a draw. Well, guess what? If it's drawn power, it's going to get hot, relatively hot. Now, I mean, I'll give you a good example. Two, three weeks ago, maybe, I had a Acura with a draw issue. You know, if you, if you know Acura, you probably know what the issue was. Well, I got tied up, didn't get to put test equipment on it just let it sit there for a while, I was doing other stuff, came back to it, took out my thermal imager, guess what? Bluetooth module was drawn. Guess what? I made a, but I made a bunch of money because I we get paid an hour for a draw test and I have about five minutes in it. So really useful for that. You can also do, you know, brake, if you've got brake issues, uh, you can look at you know, brake temperatures, that kind of stuff. They say wheel bearings. Around here, we can't get them hot enough and we don't have a four post lift, so we can't get them on a lift real quickly. Generally, I haven't been able to see anything as far as wheel bearings getting hotter. So I haven't found that useful, but you know, you can find misfires if they've got individual runners. A cylinder that's not firing, is going to be cooler, but definitely a useful piece of equipment. Should you upgrade? Now I will tell you, this is mine and this is mine. Why do I have both? Well, unfortunately, our Snap-on dealer is going out of business. He got himself way behind with Snap-on and he's decided that he's just, he's, there's no way he's going to be able to get out of the situation he's in because he doesn't have tools. I mean, he, he can't sell much because he doesn't have anything to sell because he's on credit hold. So I got a hell of a deal on the Elite, basically half off retail. Now again, really cool features. You know, it's got multiple cameras so you can look at it from different, you know, you can look at two different pictures so you can see what you're actually looking at. Here's the thing. Would I run out and buy one of these if it wasn't half off? No. Honestly, in retrospect, I don't think I'd have bought this one off Snap-on truck. I probably would have gone to a FLIR, FLIR, flyer, whatever, however you pronounce the name, instead of one of these. Why? Because the software stuff, it's kind of annoying. Definitely cool, but I think there's better options out there. And if my Snap-on guy, again, hadn't given me a hell of a deal on this, I would not have bought it. This has been on his truck for a long time and you know bam bam has one it's really cool he traded his 
regular one in on it. But only reason I bought it was because it was half off. And Zach wants to buy this one. So it's be even cheaper. Definitely better options out there. I think uh, Fleur, Fleer is definitely something to look at instead of these. If you haven't gotten into thermal imaging, really useful thing to have. Um, I no longer would want to be without one. Now they do have attachments for your cell phone and I absolutely hate that option. Why? Because I don't want to use my phone for stuff like that. Why? Because my battery already goes dead fast enough as it is. Between social media, i.e. y'all, interacting with friends, etc. I don't want to have to charge my phone two times a day. I just don't. So I, it's an option for sure. If you don't mind that, it's a great option. A lot cheaper option as well. So thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.